If you can't find any work, I'll put in a good word for you in my job, man. Remember Tommy from Martin. Well, although he didn't have a job on the show, his real life was quite the opposite of that. I've been up in a tour all over the country with that. Um, then I've done about 15 films in the last mm -hmm. probably two or three years. Directed quite a few, about five films come out. Um, directed a wonderful piece very recently. Landing all the top jobs in the industry wasn't all there was to him. He also did his best for his community in several other ways. Between directing and producing films and and doing these acting workshops. In fact, tomorrow, right here in Detroit, um, we'll be doing a workshop at the, the Rhema Word International Church. Everyone around him knew what he stood for, even his co-stars, right up till the end. A spiritual brother and uh, just a loving guy, loving parent, and uh, well, I can't say enough about him, just, just a great guy. Back in the day, many sitcoms had most of their cast members use their real names as their stage names. And strange as it may seem now, it did wonders for their notoriety. This was one of the reasons Tommy Ford, who played Tommy on The Martin Show, was able to become a household name in the entertainment industry. Although many people may not be as familiar with his off-screen personality, Ford had a wholesome run through his years in Hollywood. From starting as one of the extras on several movies and TV shows, to landing his breakout role and then moving on to several other projects, this man's life was incredible. Besides his day job, he, as a respected figure in his community, also had to give lectures on several occasions at school and churches. So you feel that this is somewhat of a ministry? This is absolutely a ministry. First of all, I'm too busy to do these things. Um, I'm working so hard, but it's an opportunity, particularly for young people. Even with a life as abundant as his, this man didn't exactly have it as easy as you'd expect for someone who landed his big break on a show that's still getting streams decades later. Like many 90s stars, Ford also had his fair share of industry challenges. For starters, this man seemed to have been stuck in one of his characters for years, which made it difficult for people to see him any other way. While he was able to overcome that hurdle, he soon landed in some serious health issues that not only may have drained his finances, but also put him in a position where he couldn't even work to make more money. All of these challenges represent the parts of this very successful actor's life that most people missed. As for why this man's story was so personal to a lot of people, Ford was nothing like the average Hollywood star. You know how we're always seeing famous people in the news for one less than ideal thing or the next? This was never Tommy Ford. He was known to always stand for the truth. And what he considered right, truly, he was firm in his Christian beliefs. It may not seem like a lot, but considering he used to work in a realm that is literally known for all the worst vices the world has to offer, the fact that he was able to remain a beacon of light is the very foundation of why he's respected so much in the industry. Nonetheless, these things were not enough to shield him from the harsh realities of life. His struggles went from personal to professional, up to the point that he paid the ultimate price. This is the sad life of Tommy Ford. So God is in Hollywood. God is not only God in Hollywood, God all over. I call Hollywood the cereal city, the land of fruits, nuts, and flakes, amen? Though widely known for his co-starring role on Martin, Ford began his career in 1985 and appeared in a short horror film called Deathly Realities. Roles in television shows and TV films quickly followed until he landed a role in Eddie Murphy's 1989 film, Harlem Nights, where Ford played Tommy Smalls opposite the film stars Richard Pryor and Red Fox. Tommy, would you like a table? Please. Thank you very much. Ford continued acting, appearing in the 1990 Brad Pitt film Across the Tracks as Coach Walsh. He starred in TV shows such as Singer and Sons as Reggie Patterson that same year. The show was nominated for one Primetime Emmy for Outstanding Achievement in Main Title Theme Music. He was also cast in a 1990 episode of Law & Order, before finally landing the role of a lifetime in Martin Lawrence's Martin sitcom in 1992. The show aired a total of 132 episodes and earned the actor a 1996 Image Award nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series, something that seemed to have come because of his consistent prayers on the set. We did over 135 episodes of The Martin Show. We never did one episode where I didn't leave prayer thanking God for the opportunity to use us, to use us to touch the world. The series, set in Detroit, was also embroiled in behind-the-scenes controversy, and at its peak, 
became a lightning rod in the debate over representation of blacks in media and whether the series played up offensive stereotypes. Much of the criticism centered around Lawrence's depiction of ancillary characters, such as neighbors, but the show retains a unique place within pop culture. Nearly two decades after it went off the air, Martin references will still get laughs. Among the best long-running jokes, the mystery over Tommy's employment status, Ford played Tommy Strawn, an affable best friend who was often the straight man to Lawrence's jokes. Anytime Strawn referred to his work, an office, co-workers, resumes, the other characters responded with seething frustration and skepticism. You ain't got no job. If you can't find any work, I'll put in a good word for you at my job, man. The mystery around Tommy's employment was solved earlier this year when Tisha Campbell Martin, who played Gina on the show, revealed the origins of the gag on Bossip's Don't Be Scared podcast. Campbell Martin said, Tommy was complaining because you know Tommy is a Shakespearean actor and Tommy was complaining. You know, I don't think they're developing my character enough and no one knows what I do for a job and they keep asking what I do. My God, my God. Well, tell me about the jobs now. I got a job! <laughs> you, do, do you think that's ever going to leave you? You know what? I have done so much work since the Martin show. After Martin ended, Ford found success in the detective drama New York Undercover as Lieutenant Malcolm Barker. He appeared on the UPN sitcom The Parkers in the recurring role of Nikki's ex-husband and Kim's father, Mel Parker, in seven episodes. He played Ben Cummings in The Power of Passion as one of the characters whose wife cheats on him with the pastor. He was also known as the Pope of Comedy due to exposure as a judge on TV One's comedy competition show, Bill Bellamy's Who's Got Jokes. In feature films, Ford appeared in the kid and play movie class act as Mink. In 1998, Ford founded a nonprofit organization called Be Still and Know. The organization's mission was to build better communities for youth, something he had already been doing on his own for years. Ford also wrote two inspirational books for children titled Positive Attitude and I Am Responsible for Me. The actor spent time traveling to schools to inspire and empower children and encourage responsibility. In June 2016, Ford directed a documentary on bullying entitled Through My Lens Adult. It aired in October 2016 on Aspire TV. This was also around the same time disaster struck. Tonight, the Atlanta entertainment community is coming together to mourn one of its own, 52-year-old Tommy Ford. Uh, Ford, best known for his role as Tommy on the hit show Martin, suddenly passed away late this afternoon. In the same year, the actor was reportedly recovering from knee surgery when he suffered a ruptured aneurysm and fell into a state of unconsciousness at an Atlanta hospital, according to TMZ reports. Per initial reports, Ford's wife, Gina, had confirmed that he was on life support shortly after fellow actor and comedian Anthony Anderson sent out a tweet suggesting that Ford had passed before later deleting it. Although at the time, no cause of D was expressly announced, the family released a statement asking for privacy. It is with great sadness that we announce the untimely passing of our beloved son, father, brother, husband, and friend, Tommy Michael Ford, the statement said. On behalf of the family, we would like to thank everyone for their love, support, and prayers. Funeral arrangements will be forthcoming. Please respect the privacy of the Ford family during our time of grief. The only pointer that was available to people was that, as mentioned, the actor had been documenting on social media his recovery from kidney replacement surgery shortly before his passing. Seeing as one of his most known TV stints is from his appearance on Martin, it's easy to see how the co-stars might have been closer than your average set. It was in that spirit that after hearing about his passing, Martin Lawrence posted a tribute to the star. We were friends way before the Martin show and I'm glad we were able to show true friendship on screen, Lawrence wrote on Instagram. You brought a lot of love to the world and you will be greatly missed. God bless to you and the family. Rest in peace, my brother. Lawrence wasn't the only one from his former set who had all the best things to say about him. Ford's other co-star from Martin, Tichina Arnold, visited Ford before his death, a source told People. Tisha Campbell Martin also posted Instagram pleas for prayers and good thoughts on Ford's behalf. Tommy was not only a Greek co-star, but he was a Greek man and freeing, Tisha said in a statement to EW. He always brought with him his spirituality, a positive attitude, and so much joy. 
I am sad the world lost a great talent and that I lost a wonderful friend. God bless him and his family. Losing the actor was devastating for not just his family, but the entire music industry at large. No one knows this feeling better than the fans, especially those who watched him growing up. One of such users wrote, Rewatching this show as an adult, I realized that Tommy was really the glue that kept this group together, always trying to keep the peace and be the voice of reason, and hilarious too. From what people have been saying right from when he passed, up until this moment, it's clear this man will remain a legend till the end of time. That's it. Goodbye.